About a year ago, LinkedIn rolled out a new feature called Thought Leader Ads. And it's safe to say that this has completely transformed advertising on LinkedIn over the last year. And the reason for that is because Thought Leader Ads allow for a much more authentic way of advertising. So previously, you could only run ads from a LinkedIn company page and it would be show the LinkedIn logo and it would show the company page logo and it would be coming from a company page, a faceless enterprise. Whereas Thought Leader Ads allow you to boost posts from individuals and advertise on behalf of the individual. So it allows for a much more authentic and genuine connection with your audience. Now, I work with dozens of B2B organizations and I help them generate high quality leads from big companies. And in the last year, Thought Leader Ads have become a major part of that strategy, driving millions of dollars of revenue and sales opportunities for our clients. So in this video, I'll explain what Thought Leader Ads are, the major use cases for using them, the best times to use them. And at the end of the video, I'll also give a live step-by-step walkthrough on how you can set up your own Thought Leader Ads and start use using them right away. All right, so first let's talk about exactly what Thought Leader Ads are. So as I mentioned previously, before last year, you could only advertise on behalf of a company page on LinkedIn. Now with Thought Leader Ads, you can boost posts from individuals and it comes right from that individual. They're gonna post on their profile and then you boost that. So it is the post that they are making on LinkedIn is getting boosted. It's great for making that direct connection with the people at the company. It allows that person's voice to get out there. Versus a company page, people will always engage with people more than companies. So there's a huge advantage from using people. And we see that right in the data that Thought Leader Ads on LinkedIn get three to four times or higher engagement rates compared to company page ads. And that then, allows you to get a lot better costs on your ads. So let's jump in and see what some of these examples look like. So first example here will be one of our, our speed work ads. So this is this is a normal ad that you would see on LinkedIn. It'll show up in someone's newsfeed. You can see that this comes from our company page right here. We see our, our logo, we see our company name, and then the rest of the ad contents here. We have whatever image we wanna use, headline, and all that good stuff. So this is a normal ad that you would run on LinkedIn, comes from the company page, and then people see that it's from the company page, and then that's gonna show up in their newsfeed versus let's look at a thought leader ad. So if I jump over here, this is this is one of my posts that I boosted as a thought leader ad. So the way that this looks on LinkedIn is it's the actual post and the only thing that's different is it says promoted by and the company page name and that will appear here. This is usually number of followers or when the post was uh, posted. So getting down here, this, this post itself is actually about the thought leader ad funnel and this is what's so effective about it is if you're posting case studies on your profile and then boosting those, that allows you now to build a thought leader ad funnel. And it starts, it often starts with a really strong case study post because other customers that are similar to that customer of yours or client of yours are gonna want similar results. So lead with the case study post and then that allows you now to build a funnel where maybe you have more cases you talk about. Maybe you have expert videos that you're posting, podcast clips, and then maybe you work in some personal posts. So that all becomes part of your thought leader ad funnel there. And then finally, you'll have your offer post. So what is that final offer? Is it a demo? Is it a consultation? Is it a free trial? Mm -hmm post about that on LinkedIn, and then boost that post to, to your retargeting audience. This allows you to build the Thought Leader Ad Funnel and get costs that are one-tenth the price on LinkedIn. Let's, let's look at another example of some other ads in the wild here. So if I jump over here, first I see Outreach. Outreach is talking about um, some rankings they got. They were ranked number one in sales software versus these other platforms. Uh, this was by a, a survey that was done in the market. So this is the post from their company page. We got 44 clicks, one comment. So we can see that this ad's running here versus when man the CEO posted this about this, you can see how huge the engagement was on this Thought Leader app. Over a thousand likes, 70 comments, 32 reposts. It's just so much more effective coming from a person. People will always engage with people more than they will companies. So those are a couple examples out there. Here's some other ads. Again, this is just what a, what a standard ad looks like on LinkedIn in the newsfeed. Now, the reason why they're so effective is it is the, the post from the person. You're, you're interacting directly with the person. This person will see a comment when they if they comment on this post and then they can choose to reply of that so they get a lot more comments a lot more engagement and just starts the conversation centered around the person and now i'm all about data so let's jump into the campaign manager to see what it looks like for advertising thought leader ads versus normal ads all right so now we're in campaign manager and this is awesome data to be looking at so you can see the different campaigns i have running i have some thought leader posts that, that are running i have some normal company page boosted posts that are running and then finally i have normal campaigns that are your, your regular sponsored content running from the company page let's look at some of the stats here and how they compare. So if I look at my thought leader ad posts, I can see that these are getting 11% click-through rate, uh, all the way down to 5% click-through rate. And then I can see my page posts, when it, this, this campaign inside of here, that's 4%. 4% is still excellent. So that is still a very good percentage, but it's nowhere near 11%. And now if I look down here to some of these lower campaigns, I see that these are 1.1%, 1%, 0.97%. Those are still, those are still very good percentages. The average LinkedIn click-through rate is 0.4%. 
4%. So 11% is more than 10 times better than that. That allows you then to, to get much better cost on the platform. Again, this kind of goes back to quality scores. All the ad platforms want you to be serving up ad content that their audience wants to see because that makes the whole platform experience better. So it's a win-win here. When you serve up ads that the, your audience engages with at a high rate, the platform gives you a, a big discount on costs, allowing you to achieve much better results. So not only this CTR is so high, but you can see how these CPCs differ here. Where down here to the company page ads, I see my CPCs are 11, 14. That is a pretty standard range for LinkedIn. The average mid-level person in the US is eight to 12 bucks a click. So I see that these are 11, 14. So these are on the higher end for CPCs on LinkedIn. Versus if I look at the page post boosted campaign, I see this is 122. So that is, that is a huge improvement uh, from regular sponsored content ads. And then if I look at my thought leader ads, I can see that these are 0 0.86, 0 0.65. And these are for senior level people on LinkedIn. I'm going after the same audiences here. Again, if I'm paying one, one tenth, even better than that of the cost, that's going to help all my down funnel metrics. Now, if I look at a few more campaigns, I can see my normal sponsored content here, average dwell time. This is a relatively new metric on LinkedIn as to how much, how long people spend reading your ads. It's a good metric for to seeing how engaged they are with your, with your ads. So average sponsored content is around three. So 3.21 is good. That's above the three second uh, average that we usually see. And then down here, I can see social proof again, 2.76 seconds. That's still, that's a little bit below the, the average. I see two, four, that's a good. But then if I compare that to my page post, I see four, three, four, those are very good. And then if I see my thought leader ads, seven, six. So people are reading these twice as long than they are my other ones. So not only are they engaging at a much higher rate, they're commenting, they're liking, but they're sitting there and reading it for twice the amount of time. And these are averages. So some people are reading a lot more, spending a lot more time reading those. All right, so now let's talk about some use cases for thought leader ads. When would you want to use thought leader ads over normal company page ads? At this point, it's hard to find cases when you wouldn't want to use thought leader ads instead of company page ads, but here are some of the most common ones. Number one is if you want to grow your CEO or your founders following, thought leader ads are the best way to do that. Their post directly to the target audience, that target audience will be able to see your founder or CEO, engage with them, click follow and connect with them from there. Number two is having the opportunity to tell your company's story, talk about your mission and your vision. And that's just best coming from a person talking about you know, the journey that they've gone through to get to where they are. Those are some of the best posts to be boosting. Number three is sharing case studies. They're just much more believable when they're coming from that that person and then people can ask questions about the case study they can ask further questions and they can even reach out to that person to ask for more help you know maybe they see a case study of something that they're interested in they can even reach out to that person directly to request their services number four is promoting testimonials right from the customer so this is another awesome use case for these because you can boost thought leader ads not just from people in your company but anybody on linkedin if you have a customer that's posting a testimonial or just saying nice things about your company your product or service boost their their post to your target audience. That's some of the best testimonials you can do because people don't believe testimonials on your website or stuff like that as much anymore. But if you're boosting it right from that person, that's so much more believable. Number five is amplifying subject matter experts inside your company. Of course, probably your, your founder and CEO probably have the biggest followings. They get the most engagement on their on your post, but you probably have several people inside your company that are also subject matter experts, especially in bigger companies. You have so many good people inside your company that others are looking up to. So allow them, this, this is a way to help uh, amplify amplify their voices and get their voices out there more. All right, so next let's walk through a step-by-step -step process and how you can boost your own thought leader ads and get these similar results. So first jump over to campaign manager. You'll need to have an ad account, go to advertise. And then once you're in the campaigns view, create a new campaign. And then when you're selecting your objective, you'll need to select either brand awareness or engagement, but I recommend going for engagement because that allows you to bid lower and get better prices. Jumping down here to your target audience, you'll need to fill all this out in terms of who's your target audience, what industries, what company sizes, what job titles do you want to go after? Build this out this way. Usually recommend and turning off audience expansion. And now for ad format here, if you're boosting image posts, you'll click, you'll select single image. If you're boosting video posts, you'll need to select video. And then if you're trying to boost both, you'll need to run two campaigns because LinkedIn does campaigns by the ad format. Jumping down here further for placements, you'll need to turn off LinkedIn audience network. It does not support LinkedIn audience network for running thought leader ads. This is ads on third party websites, set whatever you are comfortable setting your daily budget at. And then for bidding, I do recommend bid low for these because you know your engagement rates are going to be much higher. So maybe you start at the bottom end of this range. Maybe you start at two, see if you can go down lower than that. But the, the, the higher your engagement rate ends up being on those posts, as you see that data come in, the lower that you can bid and the better prices they can get. You'll set up any conversion events that you want to, and then from there, you'll go to the next page. 
All right, so now you're on the ads configuration page. And then when you're on this page, you're gonna click browse existing content. This is gonna open up the list of ads to show you what you can boost. So now you can do direct sponsored, which is pre-existing ads, company page, which are company page posts, but what we want is LinkedIn members. This allows you to boost thought leader ads from those people. Now from here, you'll go to search from somebody. So if your own profile, you type in your name or somebody else in your company or somebody outside your company, it'll just type that person's name here and you'll search to find them. Of course, LinkedIn knows that I've boosted my own thought leader ad ads before, so it gives me this here. So then you click on the person after you've searched for them, and then it's going to pull in their list of posts that are available for boosting. One thing to note is that you can boost single image posts, but you can't boost multi-image posts. If someone's uploaded several images to a post, you can't boost that for whatever reason, just single images. So for the most part, most of your boosts are probably going to be image posts or video posts. So usually nothing to worry about, but um, other notes are you can't boost event posts um, and stuff like that. Now you'll have to go through the list and find the post that you're intending to boost. So say I know I posted a case study last week, I'm gonna scroll back here, I'm gonna find this post, and then I'm gonna check, click that box. From there, I'm gonna jump back over here to the right and then click add to campaign. Now, I had auto approval on, you saw on the last screen, if auto approval is not on, maybe it's the first time boosting a post from a person, LinkedIn's then gonna send that person an email and a notification in the app where they'll need to click approve for this to, to be added to the campaign like this. Once they've gone to that screen, there's a button that they can turn on auto approval, which I do recommend doing because it'll make the whole process a lot easier next time. So since I had auto approval on, it just added it right here to the campaign. And then from here, now this ad is in this campaign. From here, I can boost more thought leader ads. I can go to next and then I can launch my campaign. And it can be off and running from there. Now back to the strategy you might want to consider. So maybe you have a very strong case study that you want to lead with. Usually other similar types of companies or customers are going to want similar results. So often a very strong case study is great to lead with. And then once they've engaged on your post, maybe they've gone to your website, that's where you then want to boost several different types of posts to stay in front of them. These posts should educate the company and kind of showcase your expertise. They can build more um, build more awareness of what you do, what you offer, talk about how you're different, and then basically convincing somebody that they should go with you if they're considering this option. And then after retargeting them with those posts, then you can retarget them with your offer post, take them to your final offer. So that, that is the thought leader ad funnel right there. All right, so we covered a lot today, but this is everything that you need to know to get your thought leader ads up and running. Obviously, to leverage LinkedIn ads the right way, just knowing how to boost thought leader ads isn't enough by, by itself. By trying to go at a loan, you'll probably waste a lot of time and money without seeing any good results. So if you're a B2B business and you're looking to generate leads from perfect fit companies and you're either thinking about using LinkedIn ads or you're already using them, but you feel like you're flushing money down the toilet, then I think we can help. We've generated thousands of leads from highly qualified companies for our clients through LinkedIn advertising. And by clicking the link in the description, you'll be able to book a consultation call directly with me for free. In that call, I'll explain how our system could work for your business and we'll see if we're a good fit to work together. If not, I'll still give you actionable advice and tips and tricks that you can use for your own campaigns. So if you're looking to fill your pipeline with high value sales opportunities, make sure to book a call down below. And I'll talk to you soon.